Okay, we are here with one of Dr. Jermel's patients. I just want to ask you a couple questions about because I understand you um, had a successful um, venture with Dr. Jermelo, so I just want other patients to be able to be aware of, you know, the the issues and the problems and the heartaches and then the blessings and everything that you've went through. So, um, obviously, you came to see Dr. Jermelo because you're probably in foot pain. Is that correct? That's right. Okay. And what kind of foot pain were you having? I've had foot pain for a long time, and it was due to a, a bone spur in the bottom of my heel. Okay. And when did they first uh, figure out you had a bone spur in your heel? Back in 1987. Okay. And they, I'm sure that was a podiatrist that found Correct. that out? Okay. And you tried different things with them over the years? or? Well, the only thing he told me was to get the best padded shoes I could wear. Okay. The other, the other was surgery and take the bone spur off. Right. And you tried padded shoes and it uh, didn't work? It worked and then it's right back. It's just a cycle. Okay. Round and around. Right. So now we're, what, in 2014 and you you still had this issue, what, a couple of years ago? And then you decided to come and see another doctor down here in Florida? Two years ago I was recommended to come see Dr. Jeremello. Oh, okay. And... Eventually, she solved the problem. Okay. Did she jump right to surgery, or did she try other things first? To no. First, it was added pads in my shoes, and she gave me a cortisone shot. Worked for a while, and right back, and then another cortisone shot, and it was back again. And then the last time, I said, boy, this has got to be fixed. We did laser treat treatments, mm -hmm. which helped for a short term, and then right. went back to the same process. Then Dr. Jeremillo says, how would you like surgery? I said, I don't want surgery. <laughs> right. But Nobody we does. did surgery. <laughs> and what a relief. Right. So on a scale of 1 to 10, before the surgery, where were you at on a scale of 1 to 10? 10 being, of course, the worst amount of pain. Oh, let me comment this way. It was probably down at, uh, pain was like 8, 9, 10. Really? It was up there. Uh, yeah. it, at points, it would be like walking with a stone in your shoe. Right, yeah. Then when it was bad, it was like walking on a piece of glass in your shoe. Wow. It just was right there, and you couldn't get rid of it. Wow. Okay, so then now you've had the surgery. Obviously, it was successful. You're happy now. That's why we're doing this. And on a scale of 1 to 10 now, where's the pain at? I don't have any pain. You don't have any pain at all? I don't have, well, yeah, I don't have any pain. Yeah. Unless I overdo it, and I'm just slowly getting back into it. And if I right. can overdo it, I'm fine. Great. Perfect. But you can do anything now that you I want to do. I can do anything yeah. I want to do. Great. Well, congratulations. That's great. So, would you recommend this now to people that are experiencing the same amount of pain as you? I would highly recommend if you did all the other procedures and don't work, if surgery is the answer. Right. And, but you didn't want surgery, of course. No. Just like I, nobody wants surgery. No, yet. I had enough. But now, you know, you're happy you did it. I wish I could have done this 20 years ago. Yeah. Well, good. Well, I'm glad it was successful, and I'm sure Dr. Jermel thanks you for doing this, and we thank you. And um, She really knows what she's doing uh, with me. It really worked out fine. Great. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.